OK, the injury to Kieran Four and just finishing an interview at the moment, he's jumping in for the team photos with the Warriors to celebrate Ryan Hoffman's 300th. What we understand from Kieran Four, and it isn't an ankle, it's a quad injury and potentially a quad tear. I'm going to jump straight in here. Kieran, we're live. No naughty words. You all right? Yeah, I am, mate. Um, I'm hoping it's just a bit of a strain up in the upper quad, so... Um, yeah, I've got the bye next week. Um, I'll get the ice on it overnight and hopefully it settles down. You felt it go? Just a, a, a twing? Yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. I felt a bit of a twing there, so um, yeah, it, was, it gave me a bit of a fright. Uh, I wasn't too sure what it was. Um, so Doc's checked it out. He thinks it's not too bad. So like I said, um, got a long turnaround now. Hopefully I'm right for next uh, next game. Positive is in the hamstring. Thanks, mate. No, that's all right, mate. Cheers. Yeah, Kieran Foran joining us on the run there a little bit. The Warriors really celebrating. In further injury news, we reported earlier Kane Elgy with a dislocated shoulder. That's, in fact, not the case. Kane Elgy has a bruised sternum. He was taken off and in some deal of pain. Conrad Hurrell, he is re-aggravated. An ankle injury that has plagued him now for some time. So tough times for the Titans with a quick turnaround, a heavy track here and they're going to be without some stars potentially for next week.